common man, uh, the Aam Admi, to actually step out and cast that precious vote, Akshita. Absolutely, Nishita. In fact, uh, Bengaluru's uh, uh, voter turnout has been uh, rather disappointing in the past. So the hope is this time around, all that will turn around. Right. It seems like we may have uh, lost uh, my colleague Nishita there. However, we will try to get back to her. But uh, meanwhile, as you can see on your screens, preparations across the state are full swing there. Less than an hour to go uh, for a polling to begin. And officials have already reached the polling booths. Uh, security already present there. Uh, so officials ensuring that there is nothing stopping voters from coming out there and casting their vote. And that at the same time, it is uh, a small smooth experience with absolutely no sort of delays, uh, with no sort of untoward incidents taking place. Well, coming back to you, Nishita, I was talking about the voter turnout here in Bengaluru. It has been disappointing in the past, but the general hope is that this time around we will see a large number of people uh, flocking the polling booths there. We understand about 6 lakh people are registered voters right now. Absolutely, without a doubt. This time around, we have seen great awareness, not only in Bengaluru, Akshita, but across the country, uh, there is extreme awareness. There is great awareness being spread, not only by the government missionary, not only by the election commission, but also, for that matter, each and every individual, each and every organization has made a personal attempt to actually go ahead and spread the message of voting. It is the time for change. It is the time to choose your uh, leader, is what uh, people have been spreading the message. So uh, it, it, there has been widespread publicity for the importance given to voting and that's the reason why we have a huge number of um, new voters this time around in the fray. These new voters are probably the ones who will, could change to the balance and could throw in a few surprises on counting day maybe as uh, nobody knows as to which way they favor. These are the young voters, these are the young minds, their needs are different, their aspirations are different, the way they look at uh, the growth of the country, the growth of Bengaluru is different. What, they, what are the issues they face uh, in Bengaluru is different. So they will be uh, looking at a candidate who will look into all their problems, whether youth will you vote for youth or whether youth will vote for experience, uh, whom will the youth vote for. That is a different issue altogether. But the fact that we have lakhs of voters who are the first-time voters who are extremely enthusiastic voters, if we do look at, uh, since we have already been through four phases of uh, elections already, Akshita, if you just have a look at social networking sites like Twitter and Facebook, you get an idea of feel of the kind of seriousness associated with elections this time around from uh, the younger voting population. They're going all out. They want to vote. They want to put up their pictures. They feel it is a matter of pride. So these young voters could actually make a huge difference, not just the young voters, but also several voters who have uh, been fairly ignorant about uh, the electoral process have gone ahead and registered themselves thanks to uh, the incessant uh, calls of uh, the election commission to uh, go ahead and register yourself as a voter. They have almost reached your doorstep uh, by keeping uh, registration centers across the city in small booths. So keeping all this in mind with the effort, with the kind of effort the government machinery and numerous private organizations put in to generate the kind of awareness about voting and the importance of uh, the electoral process, certainly we will see a lot of new voters coming into the fray. And these new voters are the ones who are to watch out for. Nobody knows who they are, uh, will be voting for. Nobody knows what their interests are. Nobody knows what they have in mind. These are the ones who will not be thinking in a traditional way. At least most of them may be not think, thinking in a traditional way and may be going uh, for some change or for uh, whatever they think is good for the country. And maybe they could tilt uh, the otherwise uh, balance that we have seen in the last several decades, Akshita. Right, Nishita, we'll come back to you there. However, it's uh, D-Day for Namanetas as well. Uh, let's also take a look at uh, what your candidates are like. First up, Bangalore Rural. We have uh, P. Muniraju of uh, the Congress, uh, of uh, the BJP, I beg your pardon, facing off against uh, D.K. Suresh, uh, D.K. Shukar's brother from uh, the Congress. He is, of course, uh, uh, the standing MP right now. And besides that, Ravi Krishna Reddy, the very, very uh, active uh, ARP leader, going ahead and representing representing the party in Bangalore Rural. 
But this is the battle everyone will be watching. Bangalore South, five-time MP Anand Kumar will be looking at starting his sixth term. But it won't be easy as he has some stiff competition uh, from a debutant uh, Nandan Nilakani, the very, very uh, famous uh, former Infosys man and, of course, representing the Congress. And besides that, Nina Nayaka as well will give some strong competition uh, to Anand Kumar from the op. And moving on to north, uh, it is uh, the ever-smiling D.V. Sadananda Gauda, the former chief minister, facing off against a localite, C. Narayana Swami, and, uh, of course, uh, Babu Matthew of the Aam Aadmi Party, who has been relentlessly reaching out to the people. And then, of course, we have Bangalore Central. Uh, P.C. Mohan will be hoping to continue his term as MP of Bangalore Central, but facing some stiff competition from Rizwan Arshad, who has, of course, uh, uh, quite a lot of support from the minority community. And we have V. Balakrishnan, uh, the former Infosys CFO, who is also uh, representing the Arm Army Party and has been on countless rallies. So we are looking at uh, some big names being involved uh, this time around, all of them hope hoping that you cast their vote for them. Well, voters who were headed to their natives were left stranded in Majestic Bus Stand as all the buses have been diverted for election duty. The people were left fuming as they could not reach uh, their homeland to exercise their franchise. People were also seen having a verbal duel with the officials at the bus stand. Well, quite a bit of galata being witnessed at a Majestic there and in fact you can see several passengers, stranded passengers as well as officials exchanging uh, some heated words there. But uh, of course it looks like no sort of prior warning, prior information was given uh, to several of the passengers who landed at Majestic to catch buses uh, to their natives to cast their vote. However, they were left stranded as all the KSRTC and BMTC buses have been sent off on election duty and these passengers who had absolutely no information on the same were left waiting for hours together at the bus stand and uh, had no way to get back to their homes on time to cast their vote and this led to quite a bit of chaos as the passengers uh, were seen raising their voices and uh, 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 giving it back uh, to the officials uh, to go ahead and provide them some means of transportation back to the natives so they could cast the award but it looks like some bit of confusion there uh, despite all that extensive planning uh, it looks like uh, several uh, people were not aware that uh, buses would be sent off on election duty but uh, things did get a bit out of hand as uh, the passengers were seen uh, going ahead and exchanging some heated words with the officials who also lost their temper soon after the uh, passengers uh, started uh, speaking rather crudely to them Well, uh, 
Uh, of course, uh, we do know that uh, come elections and several of the buses are also sent off on uh, election duty. This was uh, the case. Uh, however, uh, it looks like a prior uh, warning was not given to several people who turned up at the Majestic bus stand uh, to go ahead and catch the regular buses uh, that were usually on schedule uh, to their respective natives. However, the buses were not present there. They have all been sent on uh, to other places for election duty. Uh, this left the passengers uh, completely stranded and were completely irked by the fact uh, that prior information was not given to them. Uh, they were seen questioning the officials as to how they would get back to their homes. Uh, in fact, several of these people were also raising the point that they were trying to get back home to cast their vote. But unfortunately, considering that uh, there was uh, no transportation, considering that the BMTC and KSRTC buses uh, were not uh, flying back and forth, they were left stranded in Majestic with absolutely no way to get back to their homes. Uh, but things uh, got pretty ugly there in Majestic as at one point officials were seen retaliating to the passengers who lost their cool and started verbally abusing the officials. And the officials working for elections in Raichur are a happy lot, all thanks to the measures taken up by the Election Commission. Take a look. Lacks have been employed for election duty across the state, but the happiest of all seem to be the ones in Raichur. Ballot boxes and the necessary articles have been distributed to the poll booths. Food and the basic amenities will be provided, and the Election Commission has also made provisions for water and medical assistance. But they have also gone one step ahead and distributed mosquito coils. The simple gesture really seems to have won them over. Most of the poll booths are in humble government aided buildings like schools and simple offices. These buildings lack decent amenities, which means the officials will be bothered with the mosquito menace all day long. But it looks like they have no reason to worry anymore because each ballot box comes accompanied with a pair of mosquito coils. Water and can put the Isari. Water can irradiate water can na pruti on the polling station go like now. So you have a medicine we have to put a sectoral officer Marbe Kuntiri Divi. So our doctors in the Parkando Samanya Chikit Sege and the Kaleno, Jora, Wanti, Bedi, Alwanta Prakanaga, then medicine it can be a sectoral officer. The was a surprise waiting for the ones on polling duty in Darwar. The ballot box came with a bag of chocolates and, yes, you guessed it, mosquito coils. Looks like the election commission in these districts is taking measures to make sure their employees are happy. Siddhu Brother with Narsimha Murthy Pyati for News 9.